What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Good morning and welcome to your uh, daily Doge update, or at least I try to do them daily. Uh, in this video, we'll do a quick update uh, on, on, on the price of Doge. Covered it yesterday uh, evening or yesterday afternoon, obviously, but um, wanted to take a quick look at it again because, uh, well, uh, very, very different from the entire market. Dogecoin has been pretty strong. Uh, and yesterday we already talked about why, why that is, or at least what, what, why I think that is. Um, it's basically two reasons. There are probably more reasons, but um, the two main reasons I think is that uh, Dogecoin is an old token. Um, and it, it has a strong community, a, str a community that is relatively less likely to sell. Um, all right. But but apart from that, something that is uh, not really talked about is that it's old as well. And all tokens, what you usually get is that it's more distributed. You have less big holders. You, you still have wills, obviously, but it's it's more distributed than, uh, than, than other new tokens, such as Shiba Inu even, um, even though that has a great community too. And, uh, and it's also, I mean, it's, it's very minor, but it's also that, uh, well, Dogecoin has a lot of wallets that are just dormant, right? So it's, it's just way less Dogecoin, of, way less percentage of the supply that's actually uh, possible to be sold, <laughs> all right? If, if, if you know what I mean, like the, the price is just sellers and buyers. So if you have less sellers and the buyers are the same, it's just a crypto market, price uh, it tends to be, well, uh, better and more bullish and stronger. Um, so if you take a look at Dogecoin right now, you can see that we're pretty bullish. Um, yeah, I mean, we're struggling with that 9.2, 9.5 cents uh, resistance level. It's a strong resistance level. I, I don't think we'll break through that unless we really get a tweet by Elon. Um, there were some rumors about someone saying that it was going to, like, like he wanted to do something with pair to pair. Um, so... I mean, some, some, something about crypto, right? Excuse me, I, I was reading this all of a sudden. But um, but unless he tweets something, we're not going to break above that. If he does, we'll easily break above that and get to 11 and 11 and a half cents again. All right, that's that's something you should know. Um, but um, yeah, he tweeted about FTX, which is pretty remarkable. But apart from that, nothing. Uh, so right now, I, I still don't think we'll be able to break that. If, if we do, if we do get some some bullish news coming from the whole Twitter Elon Musk acquisition, then we'll do something like this. Uh, but for now, I still think it's more likely that uh, well, we'll probably be able to kind of. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, my mouse is uh, not working correctly, which is uh, pissing me off a little bit. <laughs> not too much, obviously. Um, so we'll, we'll drag this away. Otherwise, it, it, it looks like um, we'll be consolidating between 9.4 cents and 8 cents, uh, which is pretty good. Uh, again, compared to other cryptos, it's, it's even great. Um, uh, some fundamentals I, I did want to talk about is that right now there's some um, news going around um, uh, around uh, well FTX being hacked. If that's really the case, that's just more fear and bearish momentum and bearish fundamentals for the markets. Then we uh, Dogecoin will probably drop down to seven and seven and a half cents. But uh, as I expre expressed earlier too uh, yesterday, I do think this level will hold. I, I don't see seven cents breaking easily, uh, and I don't think it will because of that news. Um, uh, it's right now it's going around. It's like six hundred million. I mean, even if they would have all of that in Dogecoin. It would make and, and they're selling it all at once it would make the price crash a little bit um, but it, it wouldn't like drop it to zero or anything um, so and, and it's in multiple cryptos and we're not even sure if they're going to sell it all so if it's being hacked even right so so the hack is uh, is, is purely for fair reasons we will drop down but uh, apart from that i doubt that um, that the real price impact is going to apart from that fair which is a very real impact but apart from that i don't think there's going to be much selling off um so yeah that's um, my uh, doge analysis and some insights this morning if you do have any questions let me know down in the comments but for now i uh, in advance want to wish you all a great weekend and for now take care and bye